Oh Lord, open my lips. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. to be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither in all that he does he prospers For the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous.
be seated in 696. Our first reading is from Deuteronomy chapter 6. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall walk 
talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And when the Lord your God brings you into the land that he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you with great and good cities that you did not build, and houses full of all good things that you did not fill, and cisterns that you did not dig, and vineyards and olive trees that you did not plant. And when you eat and are full, then take care lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. It is the Lord your God you shall fear. Him you shall serve, and by his name you shall swear. You shall not go after other gods, the gods of the peoples who are around you, for the Lord your God in your midst is a jealous God, lest the anger of the Lord your God be kindled against you, and, be and he destroy you from the face of the earth. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Second reading is from Acts chapter 2. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And with many other words he bore witness and continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized, and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. A reading from Luke chapter 18. Now they were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them to him, saying, Let the children come to me, and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Students and parents of Faith Lutheran School, those who are in person and those who are online, to the teachers and staff, grace to you and peace from God our Father, from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It is good that we open the school year with a chapel service. It's good for us today to hear the word of God and to pray, asking God to bless us and to guide us. The teachers always pick a verse for the year, and the verse is from Proverbs 3, verse 5, which reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. 
They also pick a hymn of the year. Uh, the one they chose was, Oh God, My Faithful God, hymn 696, the hymn that we just sang. I want to talk with you today about, first of all, faith, and secondly, about prayer. And it's interesting to note that our verse for the year talks about faith, and our hymn of the year is a hymn of prayer. First, there is faith in Christ, and then there is prayer. Prayer is a voice of faith. If there is no faith in Christ, there is no prayer. The two go hand in hand. And, it is, it is, and we pray that God would nurture and strengthen the faith that he has given to us, and that we would always pray each day in chapel, in the classroom, and at home. Again, our theme verse is Proverbs, Proverbs 3, verse 5, which reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Now, the verb to trust in Hebrew is pronounced batak. Now, I will say it first, and then you repeat after me. Batak. Good. Now you know a little bit of Hebrew. We batak in the Lord, we trust in the Lord with all our heart. In other words, this verb means that we have faith in him, we lean on him, we rely on him, and we believe in him. And so we trust in the Lord, and so God has given you the free gift of faith in Christ <clears throat> by means of water and word <clears throat> through holy baptism and through the very gospel. By God's grace, you believe in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You fear, love, and trust in God above all things. You depend on him alone for every good and perfect gift. You rely on him alone for your salvation. Now you will learn a lot this year, English, math, science, Latin, music, history, and the list goes on and on. You will memorize Bible passages, you will learn about God who created you and who sustains your life, the God who died upon the cross for your sins and who rose again. You will learn a lot. Education is very important, and we're glad that our school is open. Education is very important, and it is a blessing to you. However, our, under, our own understanding, intelligence, wisdom, and human reason cannot save us from sin, death, and the devil. But try, trust in Christ alone for your salvation. Lean on Christ as your one and only Savior. Have faith in Christ alone, our one true wisdom. Again, you will learn a lot this year, and education is very important and a great blessing to you, but it's also very important um, to learn from the scriptures in your Bible lessons, to learn about Christ's birth in Bethlehem, his baptism in the Jordan River, his miracles, his parables, his teaching, his crucifixion, his resurrection, and the life and salvation of God to you in Christ. In Christ. You are a baptized Lamb of God. In Christ, you are righteous. You are forgiven. In Christ, heaven is open for all who believe. By God's grace, trust in Christ with all your heart. Lean on him alone. We thank God for the faith that he has given to you, and we pray that he will sustain it. Secondly, I want to talk with you about prayer. Again, our hymn of the year is about prayer. Ironically, uh, we ask God for things 14 times in our prayer, in our hymn. Now, I'm not going to go through all 14 this morning. I'll summarize several of them. First of all, we ask God to give us a healthy frame. In other words, O oh God, in the midst of sickness, in the midst of a, a virus, keep us and others healthy. Give us and others a healthy frame frame free from sickness. We also ask God to give us 
a conscience free from blame. And because of the forgiveness of sins, our conscience is free from blame. We rejoice in the forgiveness of sins. We also ask God to help give us strength to do what we should do. In other words, students, that God would help you to be faithful students, learning and, and, and growing in the, in the knowledge. Teachers, that God would give us teachers of faithfulness in our teaching. We also ask God that he would keep us from saying words that later need recalling and that he would guard us from idle speech, that he would help us to speak well of one another in the classroom and among others. We also ask God to help us to love one another. Stands of force goes like this. Help me, as you have taught, to love both great and small, to love your fellow students in the classroom, to love and honor parents and teachers and others in authority, we love others because God in Christ Jesus first loved us. And we see God's love for us in the cross. The cross defines God's love for us. He paid for our sins. He offered the perfect sacrifice for our sins. He rose from the dead and he lives forevermore. And so we love others because God in Christ Jesus first loved us. We also ask that near the end of our life, the wages of sin is death that we depart this life confiding in our Savior. In other words, that we die with faith in Christ, that he is our one and only Savior. And finally, we ask that on that final day, that God would redeem our earthly frame and call us home to eternal life in both body and soul. We will sing this hymn often throughout the school year. It is a good hymn. It is a hymn of prayer. And it's good that we pray today for the upcoming school year, that we pray in the, in the classroom and at home on a regular basis. God is a faithful God. He has fulfilled his promise in sending a savior. God is a faithful God. He has promised to hear our prayer. So, we are thankful for the faith that God has given to us. Throughout this school year, may God strengthen our, our faith in Christ and nurture it. And finally, we will pray today, tomorrow, and every day um, that God would lead, guide, and bless us all to his glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. We sing the Te Deum on page 
art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, your Son gathered the little children to himself that he might bless them. Strengthen the parents of our school that they may faithfully bring up their children in the nurture and instruction of the Lord by a life of prayer and devotion to you and your word. We thank you for providing faithful, <clears throat> we thank you for providing faithful teachers to assist parents in teaching the faith to children. Grant your Holy Spirit to our teachers, adorn them with wisdom and power from on high. Bless and strengthen them for faithful service in your name, so that all who learn may grow to lead a godly life to the praise and honor of, of your holy name. Graciously enlighten your dear Graciously enlighten the students of our school that they may know your eternal truth and trust in you all the days of their lives. May they rejoice in your truth so that they will truly love and revere you, confess the faith with all boldness, endeavor to live according to your commandments, and praise and glorify you as their faithful God and Lord. Mercifully bless Faith Lutheran School Restrain the activities of the evil one who would seek to undermine the efforts to provide for the spiritual growth of your children. Encourage the members of our congregation to support those who teach and those who learn. Give joy to all who serve as teachers and give them the privilege of seeing the fruits of their labors. Incline those who learn to godliness and obedience and let them so benefit by instruction in your holy word that they may serve you all the days of their lives and finally obtain eternal life. We pray all these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, Lord our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Remain standing. Our closing hymn is hymn 865. 865. 